This alternate timeline, as Baggy was laying down in pain, someone would walk next to her. It wasn't Charlie. She looked at her and smiled. Well, 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 looks like you're hurt from the exorcist, but you're still alive. That's pretty impressive to survive one night with them. How would you like to work with me? Velvet said, as Vaggie would look up and say, Why would I work for you? Because you don't have any other option. I guess you could just lay here, wounded, and be picked off by the vultures, she would say as she laughed. Vaggie would reluctantly agree and go home to her house. Velvet would then get a shower and everything ready for her. As Vaggie sat there in pain, as she laid back and looked at the ceiling, shocked at everything that happened. She was now with a demon, a sinner, and now she was going to go into her bath? After everything she's been through, after everything she's done, why would she do this? How could she do this? I mean, it's not like she has a choice. She spared that boy. She went against her orders, and this was the price she had to pay. As suddenly Velvet would say, All right, cutie, get in that shower before I join you. Vaggie would sigh as she walked in there. And she looked at the bandages. She was helping her, but why? She knew this was for ulterior motives, but this still meant something to her. The fact that she would help her like this. As Vaggie started to clean herself, she walked out. As Velvet said, excellent. Now, I'll let you stay here. And in exchange, you need to get a job for me. Vaggie would then look up in Velvet and say, what's the job? As in Velvet would smirk and slowly walk up to Vaggie. Well, you see... I can tell that you're a good fighter, and I want you to be my hit girl and my bodyguard. Does that sound good? Vaggy would say, how can you tell that? Because you survived an angel attack, Velvet would say. Velvet had suspicion she was an exorcist. After all, she carried down that spear, but it's possible that she stole it from an angel during its termination. And why would they attack their own? Velvet needed more information to assume that, so Velvet was going to watch Vaggy fight to test out if she was a really an exorcist or not. As Vaggy agreed, Velvet would then take Vaggy out for hunting. As Vaggy would stay with Velvet, as they would both walk around hell, looking for the person that owes them money, as eventually she found it. It was a hellhound. Velvet would say, now take him out. Vaggy would then nod. As Velvet was going to watch how she fights, as she said, I need the money, he looked and said, Who the heck are you? I'm Vaggy. And, well, I'm the last person you're going to see if you don't hand anything over. He simply laughed, as in he bit her. This made her mad, so she punched him in his pressure points and made him fall. As then, he she struck him down with an, with an angelic spear. As then... Velvet smirked as she was pretty confident what she was. As Vaggy walked to Velvet, Velvet said, Can you do me a favor? As Vaggy and Velvet would both look at each other, Velvet would say, So, Vaggy, I have a question for you. Vaggy would say, Yeah, were you an exorcist? Vaggy would sigh and say, Yeah. So is this a trap? Are you going to attack me? Are you going to... Suddenly, Velvet would kiss Vaggy as she would blush and say, well, What are you doing? How is this going to... Velvet would laugh and say, you're such a cute exorcist. You know, I always thought one would slay me. I always thought one would, well. As then she would start to whisper interesting things in Baggy's ear, she would turn bright red. As she would say, what do you want from me? I want us to spend time together. I want you to be my cute bodyguard, my cute hit girl, and I want to have fun with you. In exchange, you get to live with me, and you get all the money you could ever want. Sound good, doesn't it? Vaggy would sigh and say, fine. As Vaggy and Velvet would go to the bedroom, as she said, I, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Can you, Velvet would say, aw, little exorcist is nervous. All right, I'll help you out. As Velvet would help her out, we cut to the next day. As Velvet got up and left, Vaggy would lay in bed all day. As she was starting to get feelings for Velvet, she was so kind to her. She wasn't like Loot or Adams. Sure, she wanted stuff from her, but she understood that. After all, everyone did. But she she actually took care of her. As Vaggy started to get up and get dressed, eventually she would hear a knock on the door. As she opened it, it was Vox. As Vox would say, oh, so you're her girl toy. Vaggy would say, what did you just call me? Relax, relax, relax. Come with me. We need you. As Vox would start to walk back to the office, Vaggy would follow as she walked in with Vox. As in, 
Val would say, oh my, will you share your toys? Velvet would say, you never share with me, so no. Val would then say, fine, fine. Vaggy would say, why am I here? As in, Velvet would say, simple. Now that you're up on the top of the line, we need you to make sure you're in with us. We need to make sure that you agree with our deals and values. As Vaggy would nod, Vox and Val would start to talk to her as she would get more involved in the business. As Vaggy would be groomed to be a new V. After all, her name does start with V, Vaggy, and she was extremely powerful. However, as time went on, she learned more about the business. She learned more how to execute things. She learned more how to climb the corporate ladder. She would become more and more ruthless. She would become more cold-hearted. However, there would be a person she would care for. There would be a person where a heart beat warmly for her. And that was Velvet. As Velvet would talk to Vaggy, Vaggy would have to tell her how she feels. Vaggy would have to tell her that she cares about her. They had fun together and done work together, but they weren't together. One day, Vaggy would say, Um, can I, well, you know how you... Velvet would laugh and say, are you serious right now? As Velvet would look at Vaggy and say, it really took you this long? Vaggy would blush hard and say, I don't know what you're talking about. Velvet would say, it's been literally two years. And it took you this long to ask me out? As Velvet would say, well, 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 that's what you sound like. Every time you talk to me, your face is all red, and you're like, She's so pretty! She's so pretty! What do I do? As Vaggy said, Sh shut up! As in Vel Velvet said, you had to know something. Vaggy would say, yeah, the answer's yes. As in, she would grab her, and they would both kiss, as they felt love between each other. As in, they started to sing. As Velvet would say, I want to show you hell! Show you the beauty of hell and the beauty of us! The beauty of evil and the beauty of love. Beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. As Charlie and Velvet both started to sing together, they felt some between them. They felt some love grow between them. As Vaggy and Velvet got closer and closer together, their love only grew for each other as they felt like they could be with each other forever. As they would decide to do something fun, as Velvet and Val would be out on the town, there will be exorcists coming down. Velvet knew about Vaggy's past, and she thought it would be funny to maybe take this to her advantage. As Vaggy would dress up as an exorcist secretly and record a battle between her and Charlie. Charlie would still start the hotel, and she would have another partner. The hotel would be so different, though, without her. Vaggy would record everything and upload it to live as it would get so many views so many likes it would become completely famous as Vaggy recorded everything she would go back to Velvet as Velvet and Vaggy kissed they would hold each other's hands as they felt it they felt the love between each other and they felt like they had each other and they felt like no one can tear them apart Vaggy was now a V. Vaggy was now an overlord. Vaggy had so much power, and she just filled one of the best battles in history. That's definitely going on there live. As they would continue to sing, as they continue to dance, they would see the love of each other grow and their power grow as Vaggy and Velvet were meant to be together. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is where I'm going to leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Link to the video in the comments below. I really enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And what do you think about these ship videos, you know, where people are together? Like, I don't know. I think they do quite well. And I really like it. I really like putting people together. I don't know why. It's just kind of like an adult thing. When I was little, I would just imagine all these crossovers. Now I imagine ships, you know? Speaking of little, it's like crazy how old I am right now. I mean, I'm not like old, old. I'm not like seriously old or anything like that. Nowhere near it. But I am an adult. And, like, it feels like just yesterday I was in school. I was in, like, high school or middle school, you know? I have all these memories. And now, you know, I have a job. I do YouTube part-time. And it's just, it's just crazy. It's crazy how much things have really changed. You know what I mean? Anyway, 
how much have changed in your life? Like, is there like a food you would never like and now suddenly you like it? Or is there something you never thought you would do and then suddenly you did it? Or is there like something like that? How much has really changed? Because I feel like for me, my taste buds have changed a lot. There's a lot of things that I would absolutely not eat. That I would absolutely be like, ew, why, why would anyone eat this? And now, you know, I can eat it just fine. In fact, I like it. It's like delicious to me now. That's like so weird, you know what I mean? It's so weird to have something you, th you think is disgusting and you think you can't eat and then it just tastes really good. And you know for a fact you used to not like it. You know for a fact you used to eat it and be like, ew, that's gross. But now it's just like kind of good. So yeah, that's kind of a weird thing. Also, what else is a weird thing is just how life is, you know? One second you're doing this, the other second you're doing that. And the people that you thought were super close to you are suddenly gone. And the people that you thought you would just see once and never see again are suddenly your best friends. It's, life is crazy. And the people you thought you know, you don't really know. And the people that you met a long time ago and just never talked to, suddenly you're best friends with them. It's just, I don't know. A lot can happen in life. And well... A lot of friendships and a lot of family can be made. Anyway, that's enough of wasting your time. Hope you had a good day. If you don't think anyone loves you, I love you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.